Nation. And if you are feeling the effects of burnout, we want to stop you before you get there. So please welcome our family therapist, Dr. Karen Gordon, to help us out. What a great topic. I was asking the audience ahead of time, who's burn, you know, who is experiencing burnout? A lot yes. of hands. Well, a lot of hands are going up. It's interesting and sad. And I yes. think the first thing we'd have to do is actually describe what burnout is. Because people might be stressed. They might yes. not be all the way at Correct. burnout yet. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about what exactly it is. So it's a uh, physical Mm -hmm. It's mental, it's emotional, uh, it's prolonged stress. Mm -hmm. So people can have stress, but when it's prolonged, you can actually experience burnout. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go through the signs, and what I want you to do is I want you to think to yourself, okay, which ones are sounding like me? Think about your family members, think about, you know, colleagues that you're actually working with. So mm -hmm. physically, you're exhausted, very low, flat energy, so very, a lot of fatigue, yeah. uh, difficulty sleeping. This is probably one of the biggest things. I know when I'm, when I'm experiencing stress, it, the first thing that hits my radar is my sleep. Your sleep. My sleep. I wake okay. up in the middle of the night. Yes. It, literally, it's like my flag that I've got too much on my plate. There are a lot of people waking up in the middle of the night. Yes. Like, that is an epidemic. A lot of people can go to sleep, yes. but they cannot sleep past 1 a.m. or oh. 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., and it's the worst, and then you're up and you're up I for know. the rest of the night. That's right, and I find if I wake up, I, it's, I have a really hard time actually falling back asleep. Okay. So sleep gets really affected. Emotionally, flat energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, flat energy, are you feeling really sad? Um, you can feel angry, depressed, anxious. So it yes. really has a big play on your emotions. Okay. Mentally, m difficulty making decisions. Oh, okay. It's almost like the whole body is just kind of like, it's like a, it's, it's kind of shut off. You're a overwhelmed. Little. You're overwhelmed and your ability to make really simple decisions, it really kind of goes radically down. Uh, memory loss and just even job performance uh, just kind of goes down, down. down. Okay. Because you're mentally, you're just not your full self. Yeah. Yes. And relationally, um, it can affect and people can be more distant, they can be more irritable, mm -hmm. it can have a massive impact on sex drive, it actually goes down as mm -hmm. well. So, you know, you might have a couple of those, and my recommendation is if you do, go see your family doctor. Right. Go see somebody, just say, here's what I'm experiencing, what do you know, is it, is it not, and at least, if nothing else, you're kind of getting somebody else to kind of help you. A lot of people will hear this and say, well, I just thought that was the way you, know. you live. And I know. It, you shouldn't be living life like that. You actually shouldn't be going through life always feeling yes. flat, nothing to yes. be excited about, nothing to look forward to, yes. nothing that makes you happy. Yeah. Um, that's not a way to live. So definitely go to your family doctor because yes. a lot of this you can actually go and self-diagnose and they can help you. Absolutely. And one of the most important things is around really figuring out your energy level. Mm -hmm. You know, like how energized are you? You yes. know, I, it's amazing when I talk to people, you can you really sense, are they energized or yeah. are they kind of flat? Yes. And you know if they're taking really good self-care of themselves, if there's a lot of energy. You are, you yeah. do a great job. You do yeah. a great job, Militant Tracy. Militant about the self-care. I, I know, but you know what you can tell, yeah. right? You have to be really careful around those boundaries so that you've mm -hmm. got a lot of good energy, when you, especially when you're actually giving Thank to you. other people. And also it's for, and, and it, but you know, but you, but you've been strategic about it. You've been right. very intentional about it. It's mm -hmm. not, it doesn't happen kind of by choice. No. And I find especially with uh, people who are doing uh, any kind of profession and parents as well, that you're constantly giving, 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 giving. If you do not recharge yourself, you are very at high risk for burnout. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So the one thing I want to mention really quick about the stats, and this is kind of interesting about the stats on burnout. Most people think it's around work. Yeah. Right? So it is around work. Uh, Fast Company actually says that burnout is actually the leading reason why people quit mm -hmm. is when they actually have too much at the office. Um, but uh, so from the psychology journal, uh, the journal for tiered psychology, they actually say that 13% of parents are, are also experiencing burnout. So this is not just in the workplace. This is work and home cultures that's it's really being impacted. When you think about all the things you're balancing as a parent, oh, yes. I get it. And yes. there is like a go, go, go. So you're working maybe outside the home and then you're coming home to right. start your second shift. It's the second shift, which the second is job. Your, which is what's happening yeah. at home and all yes. the things that have to be done. And it just feels insurmountable sometimes. Yes. So I get it. There would be family burnout. So what do you, so okay, you, you've, you've thought about it, right? right? Do you see yourself in any of those descriptions? You're like, I'm looking at the body language, they're like, uh-oh, uh -oh. I've checked off all the boxes. So now yes. let's talk about what Solutions. we do. Yes. What do you do about yes. this? So this is the wonderful thing is life is about choices. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is very popular. Okay, this is very popular, but what I often tell all of my clients that I work with, I'm like, this is our culture, the stats are their culture, but we can either choose to be part of the culture or we can choose to be countercultural. Yes. Okay, so this is, these are countercultural. Okay, Okay, good. so I want you to kind of remember that. So tip number one is acknowledge. Step number one is acknowledge going, oops, 
Oops, that is me. That's Oops, me. That's me. The first step is to acknowledge going, I think now there is a problem. We're yes. not going to be in denial anymore. Mm -hmm. Because you might have, you know, it's fascinating when I work with families is that sometimes other family members will be concerned, but the person themselves don't doesn't see it. Yes. Right? So that's why it's really good for us to kind of step outside of ourselves. So that's the first thing is to really say, you know what, yes, I think there's a problem here. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. That's going to be step number one. Tip number two is really important, which is now brainstorm solutions, but I want you to do it with somebody else. And the reason is because, like I said earlier, when somebody is experiencing burnout, they have a really hard time thinking. Mm -hmm. They can't, they're so in it, yeah. their, their ability to think clearly really radically goes down. So I want you to think of one or two people in your life that you think are really wise yes. and say, here's with what I'm experiencing, what are some options around what I could actually be doing differently? Get, get some counsel around you, whether it's a counselor, a physician, family member, parent, yeah, you know? it could be your partner. It could be your part. Hopefully, it's your partner. Hopefully, it's your, hopefully, your partner. Hopefully, it's but a partner. You need somebody who gets it and will also acknowledge it and will be really positive about helping you. But yes. what might a solution, like what would a suggestion of a solution be? Like just do less? Uh, possibly. And that kind of goes. Possibly. So that kind of goes into third, the third tip, which is start really, really small. Okay. okay, so one of the things that when people start getting overwhelmed, what happens is we do nothing or we just become very reactive. Yeah. I want you to take a pause and like let's look at all the different options and start really, really small. So here are some small options. Okay. Number one is look at your sleep. Yes. Really look at your sleep. We right. need our sleep. Yeah. Um, I need crucial. nine hours. How many hours do you nine need? Nine hours. Me too. Put it yes. here, girl. Oh, yes. We nine are hours. Losers. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like you guys are up till midnight watching cool stuff. I it's am true. asleep. I have a mouth guard in yeah. and a bonnet on my hair. I look really yeah. not cute and yeah. I'm drooling. But you're energized. I'm so happy right. when I get yes. up. Like yes. I sleep. Yes. I sleep yes. like a toddler. Yes, yes. And I have you ever it. have you ever heard about the three yawn uh, thing about sleep? I learned this no. when I was actually re, uh, when I was having my twins. Uh, so the first yawn, um, I read this in a book years ago. First yawn is that you're getting tired. Yes. Second yawn, it's a flag saying you are getting. It is now time to go to bed. Get to bed. Get to bed. By your third yawn, you're actually going to be overtired and you will not be able to fall asleep. Oh my gosh. So I started noticing this with myself when I was feeling a lot of stress. Yes. And I was feeling. I'm noticing my second yawn by 8:30. Oh, I'm right. like, come on, I'm not going to go to bed early no, because my to boys. Bed. I went to bed last week. At 8 30 I had the best sleep absolutely okay so you gotta like so really listen and pay attention to yes. your sleep okay so it's a really good thing start say look at your calendar another little tip start saying no to extra activities yeah start clearing out that calendar we've got to take care of ourselves mm -hmm. really important another thing is to do something really fun with your family okay or your partner or your friends do something fun. fun just pure fun yeah go, go for, for ice cream. cream go for ice go cream to the park. go to the park and what you'll find is that it restarts restoring because what you need to do we're like an energy we're yeah. like a battery and it depletes and we have to restore it Good and stuff. so fun little things can actually really help to restore it and really start taking action do not play the victim no this is solvable it's solvable. It's a solvable, but you do have to take action. I like starting small. Yes, That's a really good small. tip. Like, don't try and overhaul everything, and then small. you give up because it's not working. 